During my two weeks in the hospital, I had plenty of time to question my place in the justice system. Tonight, I'm planning to write about this as much as I can. Hashtag on patrol with at here comes trouble and at walking dolphin. Hashtag stronghold. Is it just me or is it plain stupid to announce that we are out on patrol? Is there anything that isn't stupid to you? Yeah, coffee. Did someone say coffee? We just got a ping. It looks like there's a report of suspicious activity at the docks. I guess that means our shift starts early. Let's go. Papa Smurf always says, There's plenty of time for the ship to depart. Then let's take a peek at that warehouse. Watch your six. Assailants are armed. Careful with those toys, fellas. You're gonna hurt yourselves. Someone tipped off Stronghold. Send back up. Seems as though that container was the source of the report. It looks poorly loaded. Yeah, I wonder what's in it. Long time no see. Fancy a pint? Chenado! What the heck are you doing here? You guys know each other, I guess? He's only the most wanted smuggler in Europe. Ah, no pint, eh? <sighs> Let's get to the clobbering pot, then. You just read my mind.
While staring at the ceiling in the hospital, I had this question in my mind. Am I really fixing things? Or am I just a painkiller trying to hide the symptoms of a bigger problem? Or even worse, just plain old duct tape? On days like this, I just can't tell for sure. Hashtag stronghold. Valeria? Shit! I just can't believe Valeria's body was stolen from under our noses, Captain. It is also troubling that experiments have been performed on a metahuman's body who's strong enough to bend reality. It's clear we have a serious security breach. We'll take care of this when the time comes. However, our priority is to find who is responsible. What have we got? She not only knows that the container is headed to a buyer in Europe, nothing more. An operation of this scale could not have taken place without She-Wolf's knowledge. I tried to reach her. But she's not answering. Everything in the files is fake, except the name of the truck driver who made the delivery. Looks like he is working the night shift at a bar in Riverside. We can at least find out where he got the container. Well, looks like we have two clues. Pick one, and I'll send another team to the other location. Why did this blue bastard just attack us? Good question. Masons are not usually criminally inclined. I wonder what has changed. Not best. Hey, I understood that reference.
arcade. I beat that game. Steven Grosskopf? Y yes officer. Uh, any problem? We have a couple questions about the cargo you delivered to the docks this evening. No, no, no. I knew I was going to get in trouble for this. Hey there. <laughs> Hold your horses. No, I'm not going back to prison. Uh, get out of my way. The friggin' guitar and surrender. I can. happening. Admire the musician's ability to contain their fears. In my opinion, performing on the stage is scarier than fighting criminals. So, when I see a panicked musician, I can hardly contain my urge to rush to the supermarket to stock up on the food and toilet paper. Hashtag music, hashtag fear. Where did the container come from? I swear I'm innocent. I I'm just a truck driver. Stop bullshitting and answer my question! I knew there would be trouble when they said they were going to load the truck at the lab at the abandoned buildings. Oh, really? Were you really expecting that something totally legitimate would come out of an abandoned World War II super soldier lab in a haunted neighborhood? Of course not, but I really needed the cash. I was told not to get out of the truck until loading was complete, but I stuck my head out when I couldn't see any cranes around. Then, when I saw seven or eight vampires carrying a container of who knows how many tons casually on their backs, I, I almost grabbed my pants. Vampires? Shit. Now we have a clear idea about who is financing the operation. I wonder which house. I was just doing my job, man. You, you can't blame me for the cargo. Another all-nighter. I would fight an army of vampires for a cup of coffee. Be careful what you wish for, Troy. Uh. 
This is the Scarecrow from that eventful strike four years ago. Do you guys remember that? How can we forget? positions at Feller Corp. That last one was a community manager at best. believe one of these labs was still active if I didn't see it with my own eyes. Quickly! You won't walk out of here alive. <laughs> Blood! 
When I was a teen, there were bullies in the arcade where I went after school. They took money from kids and, ironically, beat up bullies in the game. Years later, I ran into one of them during my morning commute. He did not seem intimidating at all. Hashtag arcade, hashtag bully. Come on, man! You were just showing off a minute ago! <laughs> you know nothing about Nosferatu's, you moron. <laughs> Am I supposed to change his diaper? No, you need to burp him. Anyway, I know what you came here for, but you will return empty-handed. What are you babbling about? A large pack of lycanthropes raided the lab and stole the entire project just a few hours ago. She-Wolf's crew? <laughs> no idea. But we would have destroyed you if we weren't already battered. Yeah, dream on. I want my lawyer! I will sue you! We already called her. She's on her way. Since we caught you red-handed, we have the right to practice mind reading on you during your interrogation. Don't worry. None of these will be admissible as evidence in a court hearing. Hush now. They tried to develop a device that could mimic Valeria's probability control powers. The project is called Chaos Device. It appears that they were partially successful. The device works, but the DNA of the cloned organic material inside it is dissolved after the initial use. So this thingy they called Chaos Device is actually a kind of reality-bending bomb? Absolutely. They had two copies. Both were stolen. Captain, I just talked to She-Wolf. She is denying any involvement in this. Might other lycanthropes refusing her authority have formed another pack of their own? A few weeks ago, our intelligence reported that there was a new leader of the small lycanthrope community living in the sewer network. Yes, Captain. I remember the report. If I remember correctly, she was called... Lady Vermin. We know where Lady Vermin and her followers live. Pay them a visit, would you? There are two known entry points to the sewer network. One under the statue in Greenbridge Park, and the other through the train yard at the old subway. The park is lycanthrope territory. The wizard gangs rule the old subway line. Choose one and keep me updated. We have to get our hands on these devices ASAP. Why did we choose this route? We could have had some fresh air in the park on this beautiful day. Very good question. I follow all your social media accounts. Thanks a lot. Another person with plenty of free time. <laughs> Jelly much?
arrested a drunken mason. He was shouting, Harugan, while casting Spectral Blast. <laughs> they always look drunk to me. Passages under our protection. Back off, 5 0. How could Lady Vermin convince a street wizard to help them? That's none of your business. Also, I'm an alley witch. Huh? What's the difference? I'm a girl, don't you see? I think wizard is more appropriate because it's gender fluid and non binary. <sighs> Shut the hell up, SJW. wearing my ACAB t-shirt today.
I have an absurd memory. I can clearly remember what my mother said when I soiled myself at the age of three. That's why pragmatist people bother me so much. Some even expect me to forget what came out of their mouth five minutes ago, let alone years. Hashtag memory, hashtag pragmatism. Sugar honey iced tea. Now that you're cut off from your magic, better start singing. Uh, unless you're planning to kick us to oblivion. Aren't you gonna buy me a coffee first? Cut the crap. Well, you 5 -oh probably got into something that's way over your heads this time. Yes, story of our lives. Something new? Of course. There isn't a gang left in the city that hasn't been bribed already to mess with your blue asses. Must have cost someone a small fortune. It also explains why everyone we met since yesterday was looking for trouble. But given that Lady Vermin lives penniless in the sewers, it must either be the vampires or some unknown third party financing Lady Vermin that must have been showering the streets with money. Come on, witch. It's time to go. We'll note that you cooperated in your arrest report. Hey, 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 hey. What's the rush? Maybe we can make a deal. Well, excuse me, princess. Care to have an ear on the streets instead? Hmm? I'd be more useful outside than inside. Your eyes peeled. The guy activity in the city is getting out of control. You're on your own down there. We can handle it, Captain. <laughs> feels like a holiday resort. It feels like we're messing up their already miserable lives. Don't be dramatic, little star. They stole dangerous devices. That's why we're here. I know, but still, I'm not comfortable with this at all. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look at this side. I'm gonna look at the bridge again. Nice tip, witch. Don't mention it, Blueberry. Hey, make sure you take a shower on your way back. Yeah, yeah. Vermin, I presume. We know you have the chaos devices. Sorry, big boy, but I don't have them. I sent both devices to their respective owners. And you expect us to believe that? There's more. I got you involved in this mess by making the call about the cargo ship. Plus, thanks to me, you were chasing your own tails all day to recover those stolen devices. Okay, you're a bikini-clad criminal mastermind who lives in the sewers. We got that. But I'm really curious about the owners of those devices. Who are they? Your so-called friends, Enchantress and Voivoda. Bullshit. Put some clothes on, lady. We're bringing you in. Go ahead, take a closer look. Oh no, 
I remember now. Fire. The cheapest formula used in superhero stories is when the hero is dealing with the problem caused by themselves. Not long ago, I partially sorted out a problem that I had inherited from my mother, and I thought I broke free of this stereotype. How wrong I was. Hashtag superhero. You were one of the few survivors we rescued from the Clover residence two months ago. I even remember your name. Becky. Becky Porter. Why did you turn on us? What else did you expect? I spent 15 years of my life in terror, trapped in a zombie-filled district because of your mother. Do you expect me to be grateful because you pulled me out of there? Becky, uh, I don't know what to say. Look, lady, with that spreading rate of the outbreak, it was impossible for anyone to have survived there. Star's mother had to make a difficult call that cost her life by sealing the Clover residence with the dome. Yeah, the Gord Iron Knot. I've seen the documentary, too. The funny thing is, I wasn't even living there. I was there to strip for a rich bastard's bachelorette party. Um, speaking of rich, you mentioned the Enchantress and Voivod were behind everything. Are they financing you? No. They don't even know about my existence. It was Enchantress's plan all along. She dragged Voivoda into the scheme by promising a device in exchange for the use of his lab. Enough of this. We'll continue this at the station. Lady, you're under arrest. Oh, am I? Shit. Luckily, I want you to crawl on your knees, not die. Now get the hell out of here. That was the biggest defeat in Stronghold's history, Captain. Maybe we should thank her. No, uh, we should. Because she made us realize the true nature of our allies by dragging us into an operation that we wouldn't have been aware of at all. Well, team, we have two targets this evening. Enchantress is hosting the talk show called Codex Tonight. And as far as we know, Voivode will spend the evening on his penthouse floor. Which one would you like to confront? I will personally visit the other one with a second squad according to your choice. I can't believe I almost accepted Vlad's dinner invitation last week. Do you regret having passed on the chance to dine at a restaurant where the plates cost more than your mortgage payment? Maybe a little. I don't think it's a good idea to dine with someone who is planning to steal the corpse of a metahuman that can bend probability and create a deadly device by performing illegal genetic experiments on it. Oh! 
has a statue of himself all over the place. Hey, little star. I wonder if you bought the damn restaurant before inviting you there. <sighs> How long will you shove this in my face? <laughs> Captain, we've reached the rooftop! Voivod's heli is still here! Roger, me and my team are close to Enchantress. Proceed with caution. You too, Captain. <laughs> These heroic stronghold officers have arrived at my humble abode. To what doth I oweth this honor? Vlad, you don't fool me anymore. My grace, I assure you my professional endeavors have nothing to do at all with my feelings for thee. Really, Vlad? So you waving a sword in my face is a simple professional conflict of interest? This is unfortunate. Cut the fancy words, Romeo. Where is the Chaos Device? This is a very expensive piece of information. Art thou sure thou can afford it? Let me guess. We have to fight first, right? the first time we met. As much as we have, I suppose it. Am I the only one who feels like being trapped in a beat-em-up game?
I know people who haven't spoken to their relatives for the silliest reasons for years. Even when I am steaming mad, all of my anger fades away at the slightest display of remorse. There has been only one exception so far. Hashtag screw you. Hashtag anger. Thank you. Twas a pleasant training session. Yes. If you repeat this enough, it'll start to feel real after a while. Vlad, do you have to be this cliche? Pardon me? She says get to the point. Actually, in a way, you caused all of this, Troy. What are you babbling about? You putting Antonia Petroza behind bars last year had many negative effects on me. We had some, for the lack of a better word, business deals with Mr. Petroza. He was replaced by his niece, Christina Vasquez, a.k.a. She-Wolf. But her vision is very different from her douchebag uncle, isn't it? Undoubtedly. So, you want to break Antonio Petroza out of jail by using the Chaos device to dethrone She-Wolf, don't you, Vlad? Are you out of your damn mind? Didn't you ever think how many other criminals could break free because of your mess? I thank the above the skies for protecting our city, Stronghold. It's over, Vlad. Hand over the device without making me feel even more disgusted than I already am. I'm afraid you might be too late, my grace. While we were chit-chatting here, my good men have already turned on the device in Chainfield Prison. Thou son of a witch! I desperately hope that thou will give me an opportunity to make this up to you, my grace. Screw you, Vlad! If we hurry, there is a possibility that we will catch up! Let's alert all units! is much worse than we thought. Reinforcement is on the way. Your priority is to prevent Petrosa from escaping. Don't you worry. That bastard is going nowhere. We just encountered heavily armed vampire prisoners. Voivode isn't taking any chances. Oh! <gasps> 
Antonio Pedroza. You must be held in solitary. Take the ride on the next hallway. Thanks! for you to visit me for ages. Actually, I came in a few times to see you, but you were always in solitary. Right. So, you're still banging my niece, hmm? Can we get this over with before it gets even grosser? As you wish, bitch. Surrender now, Petroza! It's not every day I get a chance to kick your ass! Shut up, you son of a bitch!
What is it that I think about when my boots are off and my head is rested on the pillow? Is it the asses I kicked and put behind bars? No. I think about which closed door is now open or with whom, who once turned their backs, I can now sit down and talk. Hashtag protect and serve. One filter coffee, a single espresso, a lemon soda, and a large bottle of water. Is that all? And a friend's company, please. <laughs>